good evening everybody and welcome to the video in this video we are gonna talk about data lake what is data lake we are essentially gonna learn about data lakes this is a theory video not a hands-on lab so let's get started with the video on what a data lake is uh, by the way uh, all of these concepts I have taken from this book uh, this is a really really nice book that essentially talks about all the concepts in detail uh, so uh, serverless CTL with analytics uh, with AWS Clues. If you are interested, please feel free to purchase this book. It's pretty good, okay? So let's get into action, right? Data lakes. A data lake can be defined as a centralized repository that allows you to store all structured and unstructured data at any scale. With today's hyperscale of providing cheap and durable storage, it is now possible for organization to, to store all of the data in the cloud without significant cost implication. Data lakes are broken down into layers or zones. In the first layer of a data lake, data is generally stored as is. This reduces the entry barrier and enables organization to move all of their data into the lake without significantly increasing development or maintenance cost. Because the first layer of the data lake is as in copy of the data, organization can use an automated configuration based pipeline to create newer sources. Organizations usually pick up a replication tool such as AWS DMS to bring in data into the data lakes. While AWS DMS involves taking care of replication infrastructure, it is most, mostly a hands-off mechanism for hydrating the lake. Organization may also use a push mechanism to an FTP transfer to files to the, uh, sorry, basically push mechanism to FTP to transfer the files into an AWS S3 based data lake using transfer family. Data from the first layer is compressed and partitioned and audited and columns are added during the data preparation so that they can be used by downstream uh, by downstream more effectively. Having all the data in a data lake enables data analysts to do initial discovery to find out the value of combining data from various sources. If the value is discovered, then necessary transformation is applied in an ETL pipeline so that the target is hydrated with the newer data periodically or through a streaming arrangement. These automated trans, uh, transformation are then loaded into a final layer of data lake and used for user consumption. Again, now I have talked a lot about data lakes. So if you are looking into data lakes, here are the things you need to mas master. Before I go on that topic, I do want to cover, um, uh, if, you are, if you are looking to ingest data, we essentially at job target, we made an internal tool called Batch Framework, which is a fully scalable framework for running Python jobs, which brings uh, data from various sources. We are currently ingesting about two terabytes worth of data and if you want to read more, please come here and read more. This entire system is based on AWS Batch which essentially spins Fargate uh, spot instances to run the Python jobs. Uh, you can schedule this job, you can run this manually, etc, etc, etc. So as I said, right, essentially having a way to essentially get data into the lakes, right, once you have the data then you can use ETL such as glue, uh, you can use uh, AWS Data Brew, right, to essentially clean or, uh, you know, uh, perform action on the data, right? Uh, so the, the things that you need to master here in the data lakes is S3. You want to know AWS S3 in and out. You want to know how to partition the data well. You want to know about storage classes. Uh, you want to know about replication rules. You want to know about encryptions, uh, encryption of data, right? How to essentially, most important thing when you work with data, how do you essentially mask PII data, right? Account information, social security, passport, if, if your data has PII, right? So you need to mask all that information. I have videos about all of that topic in detail on my, on my channel. So if you need more I, uh, labs or hands-on session, I encourage you to go to my channel and check that out. I'll try to leave the links in the description. But with that being said, if you have any more question, please list your question in the comments. And in the next upcoming videos, we are going to explore more and more theory topics um, on data lakes, data mart, uh, warehouse, what's the difference between a data lake and a data warehouse, etc, etc, etc. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.